Hi, welcome to OFA Essentials. My name is Tracy and in this video I'm going to be talking about lemon essential oil. I'll talk a little bit about the history of the lemons, go over some uses for the oils, some safety precautions, do-it-yourself blending tips, and then I'll close out with some cultivation and distillation methods. So I hope you like this video and I hope you find it informative. And if you do, please press like, subscribe, and tell all your buddies. The first citrus fruits appeared approximately 8 million years ago and all citrus fruits can trace their roots to the southeast foothills of the Himalayas. Lemons are native to South Asia, although their origins are unknown. Based on genomic studies, the lemon appears to be a cross between bitter orange and citron fruits. Cultivation began in the 1st century AD in Asia, and then the fruit was brought into Europe around the 2nd century AD, which was the time of ancient Rome. But cultivation in Europe really didn't begin until the mid-15th century. During this interim, the fruit was introduced to Persia, Iraq, Egypt, and the Mediterranean region. Also during this time period in ancient Rome, the only other citrus fruit was the citron, which had its appearance prior to the lemon. Because these two fruits were so rare, they were used mainly by the wealthy and elite who touted them for their healing and cleansing powers. History also tells that lemons were such a sign of affluence that kings would present lemons to each other to highlight their status. Christopher Columbus brought lemon seeds to the Americas, and in North America, cultivation took off in Florida and spread in later years to California. In the 1700s, the fruit was found to be beneficial to seafaring men suffering from scurvy and vitamin deficiencies, and thus began its use on long sea voyages. Known as liquid sunshine, lemon has a nice yellow color, stimulating refreshing citrusy scent, and it has a strong lemon flavor, but it's not as acidic as the juice of the lemon. This oil can be used topically, internally, and aromatically, as well as a cleaning agent throughout the house. It's important to note that lemon essential oil is extracted from the rind, while lemon juice is extracted from the pulp. The concentrations of each vary greatly, with essential oil being incredibly potent. Essential oil also does not contain citrus citric acid, which may make those with sensitive stomachs able to tolerate it better than the juice of the lemon. Although what I'm about to list out are some of the many ways this oil can be incorporated into your lifestyle, this may seem like a lot, but amazingly, this is not an exhaustive list. So here we go. Lemon essential oil can be used extensively in cooking anything from desserts to flavoring meats, seafood dishes, to flavoring beverages and candies. It can be used on foods to keep bacteria contamination at bay and prevent foodborne illnesses. Lemon essential oil is one of the most potent antimicrobial oils and can be used to keep your home free of harmful pathogens like bacteria and fungi. It can also be diffused into the air, used as a cleaner in the bathroom and kitchen, not only to clean sink drains and countertops, but it can also be used to keep cutting boards clean, including those made out of wood. Lemon essential oil can help relieve nausea and vomiting, aid with the digestive process, helping to relieve constipation, support metabolism, and it can also be used to aid and detoxify the liver. It can help boost the immune system by stimulating the production of white blood cells. It can also help clean the lymphatic glands by promoting lymphatic drainage, which helps clean the body of wastes and toxins. It can help to reduce bad breath, prevent tooth decay, and whiten teeth. Because it doesn't contain citric acid, it doesn't promote enamel erosion of the teeth. It can help strengthen the fingernails and diminish age spots on the hands. Lemon essential oil is great during allergy seasons as it helps to relieve coughs, clear nasal passages, and help promote healthy respiratory system. Lemon essential oil is also great as a wood furniture polish and it can help loosen the binds of any types of goo. For those folks who are working to balance their chakras, lemon essential oil can help balance the third chakra, the solar plexus, as well as the sixth chakra, the third eye. 
Lemon essential oil helps organize the mind, allowing for concentration, energy, and freshness of thought. It helps to relieve mental blocks and inner turmoil, as well as helping overcome feelings of bitterness or hypersensitivity. When the third chakra is balanced, we have feelings of self-worth and take responsibility for ourselves. When the sixth chakra is balanced, we can see the world without judgment being attached to or being attached to outcomes. We have dreams, we have visions, wisdom, and inner peace. Some safety side effects and precautions. Care should be taken when using this oil topically as it can increase photosensitivity, causing the skin to be more sensitive to the sun. In addition, some skin can be sensitive to this particular oil, so do a small patch test before using. If you're going to use this oil internally, first consult your healthcare practitioner or aromatherapist provider for guidance on how to incorporate this oil safely into your lifestyle. Also, make sure that the oil you take is organic, ingestible, and or rated as food grade, as this will ensure that the oils are safe to use internally and you aren't also ingesting herbicides, pesticides, and other toxic materials that non-organic fruit may have been exposed to, as these toxic materials are not necessarily completely cleaned off before the fruits get processed. As with other citrus oils, this has the potential to be toxic to pets, so take care when using this oil around your household animals. For those do-it-yourselfers out there, lemon essential oil is an incredible oil that blends well with most other essential oils, so really to list them out can be quite exhaustive. So have fun experimenting with your oils and coming up with many beautiful scents. Lemon trees are cultivated around the world and are a species of the evergreen tree. There are about 20 different varieties of lemons. A lemon tree doesn't begin to bear fruit, however, until it's three or four years old, and the trees have an average lifespan about 50 years. But with proper care and maintenance, trees can live to be over 100. The trees produce fruit year-round, and some, some lemon trees can produce between five to 600 pounds of lemon annually, depending on the number of times they produce fruit. Trees that produce smaller fruit can typically bear fruit up to four times per year, whereas trees that produce larger fruit may only bear fruit once a year. The world's production of lemons mainly occurs in subtropical regions as the temperatures and humidity levels are perfect for these trees. The oil of the lemon is extracted from the cells of the peel through cold extraction methods. On a large scale, the fruit skin is placed in a machine that breaks the cells, then water is used to flush off the oil. This water and oil mixture is then filtered and the oil is separated out by a centrifuging. It takes approximately 45 lemons to extract our 15 milliliter bottle of essential oil. On average, this 15 milliliter bottle of essential oil runs approximately 10 to 15 dollars. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative. If you did, like, subscribe, and tell all your buddies. I hope to see you back here again soon. My name is Tracy from Ofe Essentials. Have a great week.